Hannah Terakian and welcome to another 13 day wave spell um, commentary. Um, so this wave spell began on the 1st of September. We're now on the 6th day or I'm now on the 6th day of September. So I'm at the rhythmic tone. The red dragon wave spell is all about birthing the new. So you may have been feeling, I don't know, I had an intense rage a couple of days ago. It was on um, the self-existing seed day. There was a lot rising and, and preparing for a, a lot of energy to move through. So the Red Dragon Wave spell is like um, um, watching a woman in her birth, giving birth process. So let's go through it. So it began on the 1st of September and we'll go for 13 days. So I guess that'll be 1 and 13 is to the 14th. Maybe 13th and 14th. I never can't quite figure that out. But anyway, 1 to 13. Um, so the Red Dragon Wave spell, we begin with the magnetic tone always on the first day that attracts the, the consciousness, the particular consciousness that sets the purpose for the 13th for the 13 day cycle here we go again Whoop. oh no it's the other way around Phew. okay um on the second day the second of september was a uh, lunar wind guided by the wizard so if you think about a woman giving birth uh, what she's going to anchor luna is always on the physical plane and it anchors into the physical body through the breath guided by the wizard to breathe and become anchored in order to then activate number three night guided by the hand to go into the unconscious that then um, takes us deep into the unconscious to transform whatever is in the unconscious in the collective unconscious in order to um, not hold to old programs so that one can be available for the birthing process but to go deeper than the programs of fear or not enough and go into the full dreaming of our planet which is abundance for all beings which is our earth mother's um, um, spell or contract if you like that was the third day the third of september um, the 4th of September, the self-existing seed, where do we keep our minds when we're birthing a new, um, a, a new reality? Um, it's the seed guided by the sun, so focusing our minds on the highest potential possible of sovereignty. So it may not look like that on the planet right now, but it's all about what you aim your mind towards. So these are very important times for us to align our minds to an outcome that we would like to birth. So and, and collecting with other minds, a sovereign, each person having their own perspective, allowing other perspectives, but keeping one's own uh, focus where one wants to go. Um, the fifth day is the overtone serpent guided by the Skywalker, this one here, Chook. Yep. which is the power of birthing, the power of expanding into the rawness, the raw power of a mama about to give birth. This is, you know, this is when you see the most raw um, the raw on many ways, you know, the rawness, the, the vitality, the life force pulse beginning to activate, become empowered. Um, then the sixth day, which is the day that I'm in today, which is Rhythmic World Bridger, um, which is on the physical plane again. And that's about surrender, surrender into the physical body, allow everything else to let go and just become uh, very open surrendered in the physical body to allow um, the inspired um, accomplishment to be inspired number seven the seventh day um, resonant hand guided by the oh god this thing is so weird when you do the mirror thing um, boof it's everything opposite so I've got to try and learn how to do that okay so resonant hand guided by the storm so to be inspired by the accomplishing change by allowing the emotions to go through many many different you know feelings that come as you're in ready in this birth process of this intense magnetic of this intense red dragon wave spell um, then we go to galactic star um, 
so I guess that'll be on the 8th of September and that's choosing, it's guided by the human, choosing to place one mind, one's mind in the most harmonic, um, uh, most uh, creative, harmonic, wise place in order to give birth. And then on the net day after that is the ninth day, it goes to spirit again. And this is the revelation of birthing, which is the realization of allowing the pulse to go with the flow of the pulses. So this is the moment, this is the moment of the hard yards. This is when the pulse gets super strong. So that'll be on the 9th of September. Um, to, to purify, to just be in the pure flow of the pulses, being very much in the moment, in the moment of this birthing process that we're all in right now. So pulsing and purifying and allowing that energy to just pulse. So be prepared for a fairly intense day on that day um, and a hypersensitive to the pulses. So becoming aware of what is around you and further and further and further and but also right here um, that ninth day and then on the tenth day is the manifestation what happens when you birth you birth love you birth family you birth in the bare bones of of um, physical attachment physical um, unity become being one with another physical human being creating family manifesting family that's the whole manifestation of birth is manifesting family so that's planetary dog and then we go to spectral monkey which is then the birthing is released in pure joy and that's a, it works on the sense plane the emotional plane is the release the liberation of of um, what it is to trust the universe and the pure joy that comes after such uh, um, a dedicated journey that's just like kind of like flooding relief flooding endorphins flooding magic you know we enter into the twilight zone and it's so beautiful um, so that's the potential and um, it's also the, um, the signature blue spectral monkey of Jose Aguez who is the one that um, received the codes and um, received in Palenque and synchronicities and guidance and all of these things around the dream spell which has been an amazing tool for me for 25 years so despite what anyone else um, has opinion about it. Uh, for me, it has been an incredible tool and for thousands of people that I've taught and, and given sessions to. So I can only go by my own authority that is the highest authority in my world. So hopefully you are all similar, going with your own authority, um, um, reclaiming your own authority. And that's what Crystal, the day after that, Crystal Human, oh, Crystal Human, guided by the seed, to choose to create, uh, co-create a community that you want to, um, guided by the seed, to focus um, your choice, your free will on the community that you want to be a part of, a, a future vision that is there in the collective unconscious of a kind of, you know, Anyway, I won't put it in, it's your vision, it's your choice. You are creating the world you want to live in. So my world is very much community and organics and, you know, like going back to the earth and, and listening to our mother um, because she has never taken me on a wrong uh, way and I understand her a lot better than most things in this crazy world. So anyway... Uh, that's that day that'll be the 12th of September the 13th of September is the final day red cosmic skywalker guided by the earth which is the awakening of the earth the awakening through listening for the natural cycles of evolution through reading the patterns through exploring the the evolutionary patterns of our beloved earth so um that's the dragon wave spell and may you enjoy it as I am it's a it's a wild ride. It's it's pretty amazing to to know that we are in this birthing process, and in order for birth to happen, a lot must drop away, and get back to the bare bones of who are we, what are we doing here, and um, listening to one's own authority, what is right for oneself. Maybe turn off your TVs and your radios and all of the. Um, 
all of the noise coming from the outside with the programming that is uh, wanting to take you in someone else's agenda and just listen to your own heart beat and your own heart song and take that as the immediate authority and then ripple out from there but if you're if you're hell bent on taking it all from outside and bringing it in um good luck this it's a very confusing journey so um and uh, i wouldn't go there if i were you uh, reconnect to your center okay blessed be have a have a good journey and the next cycle we'll go into is the white wizard cycle which is very much about anchoring in to one's own center so if you don't manage it by then i'll give you a hand and let you know how it rolls blessed be enjoy <laughs>